Oh boy, let's get back to talking about anime after all the uh, more uh, videos I upload about anime. Um, the more anime shit you guys are gonna get. So yeah, let's keep going. Yeah, let's keep going to episode six, Show by Rock. So let's recap episode six. Sien's guitar finally gives out the details about the antagonist and why Sien was actually dragged into the other world in the first place. And I'm not gonna reveal much because of spoilers. Anyway. Why am I... I wouldn't spoil anything. I mean, you should be watching this show. I mean, come on. Plus, Magica and Shingen Crimsons go to summer camp to prepare for the Grateful Rock Festival. However... Uh, there seems to be a little bit of conflict between Sien and Rettery. It's not arguments or something. It's like... Rettery is kind of still upset about this... About the revelation that was seen in episode 5. And, however, it's... Sien trying to get... Retory to, well, calm down, calm down a bit, and you know, it's it's kind of like winning back Retory's trust, basically. So yeah, so they sort the issues, and however that succeeded, it was really tough, and yeah, and however uh, Moa, the drummer, you know, revealed her true identity, and <laughs> and basically. It's like, hey, I'm actually an alien who was sent to investigate this planet. And it's like, it doesn't really matter as long as we're together. The, the moment right now is that we got to cherish the times now, not worry about the times later. And everything blows over. Everybody's gotten along with each other, and that's basically it. They do have the meanwhile segment where the Shingen Crimsons goes to the boys' camp to uh, you know, right up the mountains. <laughs> it gets freaking hilarious in there. There, the Shingen Crimson's misadventure is um, on the on the side in this episode. It was, it was very funny as hell. As a matter of fact, there was a uh, scene with swimsuits, and however, they did say something about a a uh, swimsuit stuff in the episode. But like, there's at the beginning of the episode, you see the girls in swimsuits playing volleyball, and then however, it goes back to the story. It goes. So it's like that little, you get this first few minutes, okay, girls, ah, sweet, the fan service, girls in bikinis, and next thing you know, it's like a, it's like a clever, elaborate troll, to be honest with you, <laughs> and I find it kind of funny, and it transitions to straight to the serious parts, like, it, it transitions to right where episode five left off, and then, boom, everything's all done, and, <laughs> and shit, and it is like, best fucking trick ever. I give the story 5 out of 5. I like the elaborate eye-catcher, uh, bait and lure, and I like how it just does this for only, it does, it starts being a serious episode, because, hey, you gotta pick off right where episode 5 left off, and it did that job just that. We were thought we were gonna get this, oh, cool swimsuit episode. It's gonna be mostly about the swimsuits, but nope. It got serious, but... Yeah, it's pretty impressive. So, yeah, so for the story, that's a 5 out of 5. Because I have I had nothing wrong with the story. I had more, I was more very entertained with this episode. Actually, this story is what actually entertained me more, but however, I, I'm wasting time. But let's get to the design. Uh, 5 out of 5. I love the way everything has been done. The summer camp, the beach has been drawn. The backdrops are amazing. However, the sound quality, 5 out of 5. What a good voice acting. There's no slips in there. It's pretty good. I, mean, I have no issues with the episode, basically. So I'm going to get so... I'm going to say this. 15 out of 15. So perfect scoring. Good job. Anyway, check out Show by Rock in the streaming sites, uh, which will be posted in the video description. All right, that's all. See you in the next video.